Damn Wrestling Podcast uh, Facebook page where I can do a uh, uh, God, what's the name of it? I just lost the name of it just that fast. Um, a suicida. No, it's not even that. It's a, a Spanish fly. Spanish fly. Okay. Um, I can do a Spanish fly. I just don't do it every match because it doesn't require me doing it every match. But I can do one. And a lot of guys are like, oh, you can't do no Spanish fly. You can't do a moon song. Them. I can show you better than I can tell you. But it's, again, I don't have to do it every match. My character does not call for me to do a bunch of high flying stuff. So I think LA Knight just has to dial it back just a little bit. Do what you can do great for a little while. And then when you have those big match moments where you got to pull out something a little extra, pull out something a little extra. Right. I definitely agree with that, man. Uh, I think he's on his way, man. Uh, you know, the people are definitely behind him. I think that the front desk is is seeing that. I mean, the back office is seeing that he's uh, undeniable. So we'll see if they, you know, do do something with him. Uh, I think that the opportunity that he got to win the Battle Royal at uh, SummerSlam should have been with some type of stipulation or a title shot or something uh, to make it make it make sense. Um, but we'll see, man. I think that he, I think that you go ahead and try to put the U.S. title on. You know what I'm saying? I think if they do that, then they get a game and see how he does with the championship. And if he is the guy, take over the reins and take over the company. Mr. Everything, man, thank you for joining us. Uh, let the beautiful people know what you got going on. And where can they find you? Absolutely. You already know I'm always wrestling. I'm always somewhere. This Saturday, I'm in Dunn, North Carolina, um, taking on Trey Havoc for the next level uh, heavyweight championship. Uh, next week, I am in, what is next week? It's the end of the month. I'm local somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm local somewhere. Uh, I'm not going too far. And then I got to go back to Arkansas on, on September 9th. Um, take over one DJ Brown. And then uh, in the beginning of October, I'm going to Montreal, Canada for the very first time to go and wrestle out there for a couple of days. So that's going to be exciting and very fun. Um, I just got accepted to another magazine for modeling. So uh, once that drops, I will share the link for you guys to be able to purchase it either digitally or on print. If you if you buy the print version, if you buy the print version, and you happen to see me somewhere, I will sign your print version. Just let me know. Hey, Mister Everything, I bought the print version. Or if you want to mail it to me to have it be signed, I will do that, and I will mail it right back to you. I will put all the information in terms of how to send it to my business, my mailing address, um, and that's pretty much it, man. Just making moves. Um, kind of get this uh, personal training thing going. Um, that's something we're going to talk uh, sidebar and kind of push that a little bit, um, what we talked about before. Other than that, man, just, you know, being Mr. Everything everywhere. Oh, man, it's good to hear that, man. Where can people find you, man, on your social medias? Absolutely. Uh, go to Instagram, Roosevelt Conyers LLC, and go to my TikTok, in the words of Brian Renegade, TikTok. <laughs> go to my TikTok official underscore Mr. Everything and see all the crazy workouts that I put up there. Um transitioning my TikTok into just workout type stuff, but it's so hard to not put up the funny stuff. It's so yeah. hard. Um, but I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying. So just go, go take a look, see what I got going on. I know you do reaction videos, man. It'd be cool to see you do reaction videos to like uh, gym fails, workout fails, and stuff like that. I think that'll be cool. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some with the gym fails, workout fails, and I'm gonna attempt the workout that they actually failed at. I like that to show the correct way to do it. Yeah, I think you got something there, brother. You, you got something, there. Mr. Brian Renegade El Capitan, with the good old idea. You know what I mean? I keep an idea, too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> what you got going on? What could it be for people to find you at, bro? 
Oh man, I got a lot of stuff going on right now. Right now, the, the main thing that's on my mind is preparing for this wedding that I got in October, man. So, uh, you know, just trying to get everything together for this uh, this this pricey endeavor. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's cool, man. Uh, other than that, man, you can uh, go to uh, my site. I do marketing and advertising at theheadshotheroes.com. Uh, we have over 65 million impressions online for local businesses and, and pushing content for local businesses. So if you need marketing and advertising, it's right here, theheadshotheroes.com. And uh, support your boy. Um, and then other than that, man, we've got a nonprofit, uh, Blue Hearts for Autism. Uh, we are raising awareness for individuals and families that have autism and uh, providing resources. Uh, we got the podcast coming out soon called Ain't That Autism. And I'm working on the books, uh, both e-books and physical books for Ain't That Autism to give uh, parents, young parents, a guide to dealing with children who have special needs. So if you want to, you can go over to blueheartsforautism.com and support. Uh, you can donate, you can buy coffee, you can uh, buy paraphernalia, all kinds of stuff at blueheartsforautism.com. And of course, we got the best damn wrestling podcast, man. Uh, we are growing in 11 countries on 15 different platforms, 2.1 million impressions online. And we have had some of the, the, the greatest legendary stars in wrestling history on the podcast. And we are only a year in. So keep on supporting your boys and what we got going on. Cause we got more for you.